Welcome. This is George and Retha Pia with our continuation of reading the Psalms. Let us start with an opening prayer. In the name Amen. of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Teach us, good Lord, to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for any reward, save that of knowing that we do your will. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. And we are starting today reading from Psalm number 30, Thanksgiving for Deliverance. I praise you, Lord, for you raised me up and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you for help and you healed me. Lord, you brought my soul up from Sheol. You let me live from going down to the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you faithful. Give thanks to his holy memory. For his anger lasts but a moment, his favor a lifetime. At dusk, weeping comes for the night, but at dawn there is rejoicing. Complacent, I once said, I shall never be shaken. Lord, you showed me favor, established for me my mountains of virtue. But when you hid your face, I was struck with terror. To you, Lord, I cried out. With the Lord, I pleaded for mercy. What gain is there for my life blood, from my going down to the grave? Does dust give you thanks or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. You took off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness, so that my glory may praise you and not be silent. O oh Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. Psalm number 31, prayer and distress and thanksgiving for escape. In you, Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to rescue me. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Free me from the net that they have set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, Lord God of truth. You hate those who serve worthless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in your mercy. Once you have seen my misery, and gotten to know the distress of my soul. You will not abandon me into enemy hands, but will set my feet in a free and open space. Be gracious to me, Lord, for I am in distress. Affliction is wearing down my eyes, my throat and my insides. My life is worn out by sorrow and my years by sighing. My strength fails in my affliction. My bones are wearing down. To all my foes I am a thing of scorn, and especially to my neighbors, a horror to my friends. When they see me in public, they quickly shy away. I am forgotten, out of mind like the dead. I am like a worn-out tool. I hear the whispers of the crowd. Terrors are all around me. They conspire together against me. They plot to take my life. But I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. Many destin my destiny is in your hands. Rescue me from my enemies, from the hands of your my pursuers. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your mis mercy. Do not let me be put to shame, for I have called to you, Lord. Put the wicked to shame. Reduce them to silence and shalom. Strike dumb their lying lips, which speak arrogantly against the righteous in contempt and scorn. How great is your goodness, Lord, stored up for those who fear you. You display it for those who trust you in the sight of the children of Adam. You hid them in the shelter of your presence, safe from scheming enemies. 
you conceal them in your tent, away from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord. Marvelously he showed to me his mercy in a fortified city. Though I had said in my alarm, I am cut off from your eyes. Yet, yet you heard my voice, my cry for mercy, when I pleaded with you for help. Lord, love the Lord, all you who are faithful to him. The Lord protects the loyal, but repays the arrogant in full. Be strong and take heart, all who hope in the Lord. Psalm 32, Remission of Sin Blessed is the one whose fault is removed, whose sin is forgiven. Blessed is the man whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in which spirit is no deceit. But I kept silent, my bones waste away. I groan all day long, for day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My strength withered as in dry summer heat. Then I declared my sin to you. My guilt I did not hide. I said, I confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. Therefore, every loyal person should pray to you in the time of distress. Though floodwaters threaten, they never reached him. You are my shelter. You're, you guard me from distress. With joyful shouts of deliverance, you surround me. I will instruct you and show you the way you should walk, give you counsel with my eye upon you. Do not be like a horse or mule without understanding. Every bit and bridle their temper is curbed, else they will not come to you. Many are the sorrows of the wicked one, but mercy surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous. Exalt all you upright of heart. Psalm 33. Praise of God's power and providence. Rejoice, you righteous in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, on the ten-string lyre. Offer praise. Sing to him a new song. Skillfully play with joyful chant. For the Lord's word is upright. All his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. The earth is full of mercy of the Lord. But the Lord's word, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their host. He gathered the waters of the sea as a mound. And he set the deep into the storage vault. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world show him reverence. For he spoke and it came to be commanded, and it stood in place. The Lord foils the plan of nations, frustrates the designs of peoples, but the plan of the Lord stands forever, the designs of his heart through all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people chosen as his inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down and observes the children of Adam, from his dwelling place he surveys all who dwell on earth. The one who fashioned together their hearts is the one who knows all their works. A king is not saved by a great army, nor a warrior delivered by great strength, unless use, sorry, useless, useless is the horse of safety. Despite its great strength, it cannot be saved. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him upon those who count on his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive through famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield, for in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. May your mercy, Lord, be upon us as we put our hope in you. I think we will stop for tonight. And we will continue tomorrow, and we will close with a closing prayer. The Father is my hope. The Son is my refuge. The Holy Spirit is my protector. Glory to the holy and undivided Trinity, now and forever. Let us praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Let us bless and exalt God above all forever. Almighty and everlasting God, to whom we owe the grace of professing the true faith, grant that while acknowledging the glory of the eternal Trinity and adhering its unity, we may through your majestic power be confirmed in this faith and defended against all adversaries. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.